If you think of a year, plant a seed. If you think of 10 years, plant trees. And if you think of 100 years, teach people. Welcome to Wedgie TV where we learn with happiness. everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel in case you're new here you're most welcome this is your girl Rita Weiji the happy soul and in today's video we are talking about PhD exchange program how to apply for PhD here at Hebrew University you don't want to miss just stay tuned don't go away You're most welcome to Edgy TV. Please tell us about yourself. Hi Rita. So uh, uh, I'm Maitre Mohan. Uh, I'm from India and uh, I'm a visiting research fellow here uh, at the Plant Sciences and Genetics Department through the PhD Sandwich Scholarship Program. Uh, and I'm currently working on plant data sets and uh, the application of uh, various spectroscopy and uh, remote sensing stuff in the plants. Wow, that seems to be amazing. What motivated you to come here at Hebrew University, especially studying in Israel? Uh, well, I'm doing my PhD in uh, remote sensing and geoinformatics. And uh, when I saw that Israel, uh, uh, in, uh, in Israel, the agriculture uh, sector is good in terms of uh, agriculture research and agriculture development. Yeah. So I thought of pursuing some remote sensing, some spectroscope in agriculture and how uh, we, we can uh, use this for uh, the, the development and for the benefits in the, the farming sector wow. and uh, it is one of the like uh, it's one of the best motivation uh, factor it's one of the best motivational factor and uh, I got to know about the program through one of my seniors who had earlier uh, who had earlier applied for the Sandy scholarship program and uh, yes I, I got to know about this program through him and I applied for it Wow Maitre that was amazing so you said you are in the plant science and genetics lab. How does this relate to agriculture? How does your work relate to the agriculture? Uh, so like uh, in plant science and genetics, I work in the plant sensing laboratory. Okay. So when it means to plant sensing, it means the application of spectra and various spectral properties of the plants, whether we started from a leaf level or from the canopy level or from the images acquired by UAVs or by the images acquired by satellites. So what we do is basically we have uh, uh, like the spectral information, the spectral data of plants and how we use those data sets to estimate various plant traits starting from different chemical components present in the plant to different uh, physical chemical parameters, the physical traits and other aspects that are present in the plants. So my research work here as uh, a visiting research fellow is to work on these aspects and uh, uh, like uh, as uh, the most of the agriculture uh, sectors is based on destructive techniques but when it comes to plant remote sensing it's uh, basically a non-destructive method how we estimate the various properties of plants through spectral means through spectral estimation techniques so people out there would like to know how you applied to this exchange program tell us about the processes that you took when you're applying for this program oh yes once I got to know regarding the Sandy Scholarship Program from my seniors, mm -hmm. I immediately contacted the uh, uh, various professors here in Israel. Okay. Since it is a collaborative uh, research between the Israel and Indian universities, yeah. so I, I, I emailed, I texted a lot of professors and showing about my research and uh, giving, uh, giving a lot of proposals. Mm -hmm. And uh, I finally I got reply from one of the professors who has a similar uh, research area mm -hmm. in which I'm working on. So once I got his reply, so then he interviewed me and uh, then the real application process began. I had to submit a written proposal okay. followed by a resume and recommendation letters from uh, my host university in India mm. and the university in Israel. So these documents were compiled and uh, sent to the Council of Higher Education in Israel for its review. And uh, yeah, there was waiting time for two months for the results to come. When do students apply to this program? Uh, the scholarship program is uh, open uh, every year. Uh, usually the application starts in the month of uh, November uh, and it goes on till the end of December. Oh. And uh, yeah, once the application process is over, oh. the results uh, come out in the month of uh, February. I really glad to know when I got selected for it. Wow. Uh, I, got, uh, I got to know about this news in February 2021. How long is this program? 
so this uh, uh, scholarship program, this exchange program is for one year duration, is for a maximum of one year duration. Okay. So I, uh, my, my duration of my program is from April 2021 till May 2022. Oh my goodness, so you're soon leaving us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. How is life? How are you having fun here in Israel? Are you enjoying? Are you having fun? Oh, well, when it comes to PhD, so a lot of people think since PhD is all about research, but uh, I seriously say is uh, there is a lot more things apart from research. So during this duration of one year, apart from research and academics, I enjoyed a lot, uh, starting from making friends, I visiting know. places, <laughs> and... Uh, uh, attending a lot of international programs and cooking, dancing and uh, songs. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, like uh, in Israel, there are a lot of places to visit, uh, sure. starting from historical monuments mm -hmm. to some of the geological wonders. Okay. Uh, do visit Jerusalem. Uh, uh, the old city in Jerusalem is one of the historical places. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the geological wonders include the Dead Sea, the Red Sea. You can see the corals, the red corals in the, the Red Sea. and. Uh, Mount Carmon and one of the other places is the Haifa port city that's yeah. uh, a really amazing place. You know what a lot of people fear uh, joining PhD because we, what we think is it's all about studying it's all about research even on your days that you off you have to be reading you have to be in the lab doing research I think it's more about balancing balancing that's correct books and life life yes well, yeah, so one basically has to keep a balance between uh, the work and uh, some enjoyment. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that's how uh, the, the research life is. Wow. So <laughs> one has to maintain a good balance. Or any advice for the youths out there? Uh, for, uh, uh, for those of you who want to apply for the scholarship, uh, I'd suggest to start early, uh, like basically when you're in your third year of PhD, second year or third year of PhD, and when you got to know about what research you're doing, so that's the best time to apply for it. Uh, so you, you need to contact to the supervisors uh, and check uh, and uh, look for their uh, research areas, research expertise, and if it matches with uh, your research uh, area, then you can start emailing them. You can start mailing them, writing letters, and... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so this is how exchange programs work. Thank you so much, Maitre. It has been so amazing to have you here. My pleasure. Thank you so and, much. And uh, I also like uh, feel uh, thankful for uh, the opportunity that uh, uh, the Standard Scholarship Program, uh, I received from the Standard Scholarship Program and pursuing my research here in the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, the Faculty of Agriculture in Kovot, and uh, to all my research colleagues and all the people out there. Wow, so. wow, wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so guys, if you really, really want to apply for a PhD exchange program, you would love to have this program. It is really so amazing. The link is down below in the description panel. So thank you so much. If you want him to come back, just uh, drop a comment down below. What are your questions? Do you have any questions related to his program? You would like to ask him, please ask us and we are here to help. It has been Yoga Rita Wedji with my train. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. You're going to have very many amazing videos like this and wish you well. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>